Visual Basic for Application is an event programming language. It means then when a user clicks or does something or enters some data, it actually initiates an event. This means it gives the programmer to actually write code to respond to that particular event. Let's go to form view or form design view and I'm going to select this button to do our typical hello world example. I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to click use the on click event. If I wish I could select these three buttons here and use the code builder or I could select event procedure and select these three buttons again and here it is that I'm going to write my first message box function. Very simple. So I'm going to type message box and I'm going to say hello world which is basically our easiest programming tool or programming word that everybody uses when they're now starting a particular application. I could close down this it would already be saved for me and if I wished I could always go back and actually click here to look at the event. I'm going to my form I'm going to save my form and I'm going to run this form now by right clicking on it I'm going to form view and I'm going to select my button Andre button and here it is typically a hello world example. Now what we're going to look at is just other event procedures um, in Visual Basic for application um, using Microsoft Access and when we go to the property sheet we would see a lot on click after update on duty on change on key press and so on but what I want to focus on is actually on change event and if I was to just like this run this form you just see something here so I'm going to just right click and let's go to form view and I'm seeing yet another beautiful name again that is in this form. So I'm going to go to the design view and I'm going to go to the option, the unchange option. And I'm going to click the event procedure and I'm going to type a very simple code that was already being typed up before. Uh, I'm just going to just like um, tidy up this code a little bit. So I'm going to say let's display the name that is entered now because I want it um, uh, entered. Um, sorry if I, my English is a little poor. I don't know whether or not it's ED or now or whatever the case was the same thing. But we're going to concatenate this a little bit and I want you just to bear with me a little bit by using the me sign. I'm going to say me and I would want to print out the variable uh, uh, contact um, name. So I'm going to look for it contact um, first name. I'm going to look at that and I'm going to choose the option on on value and I'm just going to close it off afterwards so what I'm going to do next is um, run out this form I'm going to just select here and I'm going to go to form view and if I was supposed to type something you would see it's saying I display the name entered now as Andre uh, and if I click away and I come back in here and I click this here to see it is actually typing up here again uh, Let me just tidy up this code a little bit go back to design view and just kind of like put a space in between here So we can actually see it. So when we run all the form What we're going to do next here? And we're just going to save it and I'm going to go back to form view again, and I'm going to again type some 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 names additional stuff I'm going to see if I was supposed to press F9 or click away and click again, you're going to see the name is being updated um, as I as as I click away. Well, it's not really updating because if you look at it, uh, it's after I press the S, you see in the W and I have to click away and so on. So what I would normally do is to change this procedure and probably add not the value itself, but add um, on text itself. So I'm going to put the text and I'm going to actually run it out. Uh, like this and I'm going to uh, save the form one more time I'm going to run it into form view and you'll see what is taking place right now that every time that I type is updating it automatically and these are some of the things that we could look at within uh, Microsoft uh, Visual Basic uh, for application using Microsoft um, Access oh yes what we did before we just looked at two different events that took place within um, your your tables or within your fields I should say 
Now I want to just focus a little bit on form events. I'm going to just click on um, this area here and click on my form events. And I want to look at some of them. I want to look at the on delete. I want to look at on timer. And I may want to look as, as well as on error. I'm going to look at the on delete event first and I'm going to select an event procedure. And I am going to type in this. This one, let's maximize this a little bit. I'm going to type something very simple where the on delete is concerned in terms of a message box function to pass out the information that I need. So I'm going to type message box and I'm going to put the option cannot delete. So you're given the, the user an option that they cannot delete, or you could put it just simple um, in layman's language. But I prefer to say it in proper English since I am, you know, the hottest ever. Anyhow, so we're looking at deletes not allowed. And the interesting thing about this, because cancel is an integer, I'm going to put cancel is equal to true. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm just going to close the Visual Basic Editor and I'm going to save this form. And I am going to run it. We're just going to use my option control and minus. And you'll see the option pump it, popping up saying delete not allowed. Well, let's head back inside our um, form event property and look at the option with on error, which I'm looking for it. Here, the on error event. Um, I'm not seeing the on air event, but I saw the okay. Look on air here because I was now coming down to check the on timer. So now look at the on air event, and I'm just going to do the same thing and select an event procedure. And I'm going to write some basic code here again with a message box. And I'm going to put message box. And I'm just going to say something very simple like um, an error happen yes. and the code is and again I'm going to concatenate this by using my ambassand and what I would want to do let me just put my comma here I would want to to find out exact code for that error so I'm just going to put data error to show me that code to trap that code and I will just probably put a couple of comments because I want to actually put response in this case here which is equal to zero and i don't want that to run just as yet so i'm just going to comment it out uh what i'm going to do again is to close this and i'm going to run this form and i'm going to go to form view and um, what i'm going to do here is i probably could come here and type like uh, wrong information i could type and you will see that the code is happening here and the code is 2113 and you will see that this error comes up here by default which is given free of charge in Microsoft Access so what I would do now is to head back into my design view my form I'll just delete this first and I am going to go back to my design view and head back to my event procedure and I'm going to take out this um, these commas here and I will head back now and um, run this particular uh, form again save it and I'm going to try it again like this this time and you'll see that this time the error did not show up so you know you have a little option whether or not if you want the error to show up we're giving it by free so by using the option um, response equal to zero now the last one I want to show you all is the time interval or on timer event uh, before I do that let me just increase this timer to like 1000 milliseconds 
So give me some time at least to come out of this code. I'm going to go to an event procedure. Uh, and I'm going to select... Uh, now you have to be kind of careful how we're using this on time event. Especially how I'm going to just put this message box uh, function here. So I'm going to put message box. And I'm going to just put um, a very simple code. Uh, time is... And again, I will concatenate this to this function now. And I'm going to just leave it just as it is. And again, I'm going to close it down, save this form. And I'm going to run it. So I'm going to go to form view. And we would hold on a little while to see that the untimely event comes up because what happens is that if I had uh, put it a very short second and I click away from it, it was going to keep on popping up and I wouldn't get the opportunity to actually go back into my um, my code per se. Now, she should just take about a minute. There it is. The untimely event shows up. And it shows up again. So you gotta be careful how you're using this on time any event. And these are some of the event um procedures that we looked at. We first looked at event procedures that we would discuss using um like within the fields and so on. And we also looked at some of the form events. So when next time we come back we're gonna look at some more event handlers within Microsoft Visual Basic for access.